Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blaggy137. It's been a long time since I've done a video with my car, but I'm currently sat at work waiting to go in because I'm not needed for another 10 15 minutes. So I thought I'd do this uh, quick little video for you. Um, a lad called Matty Whitler, I think that's his name, sorry if I've said that wrong, has asked me um, recently to, actually it was this morning, asked me to do a video on a goalkeeper's diet. Now, most people, I think most people that watch these videos are around my age, well, nearish my age, so from 14 up to, I think, about 20 years old, people tend to watch these videos. But um, there's lots of different things you could do for a goalkeeper's diet. Mainly, what's good in a diet is obviously fruit, veg, meat, a bit, a bit of everything. So you've got your protein, your dairy, your carbohydrates, your vitamins, your minerals, water, fats, sugars, stuff like that. Um, there is no one specific diet, specific, specific, Pacific, Pacific, spe no, specific diet, sorry, to, um, for a goalkeeper, everyone's different, I mean, ever since I've started going to the gym more recently, I've had to have more protein in my diet, because uh, I'm building muscle mass, so I need to keep my protein levels up, so my muscles can repair faster and grow stronger. Uh, a lot more quickly um there is also the whole carbohydrate thing people may have known about carbo loading if you don't carbo loading is where you uh, eat a lot of carbohydrates the night before an event for example if you've got a i don't know let's say you've got a cup final match and you know you'll need a lot of energy because it's going to be a tough game you'd eat tend to eat like pasta rice Stuff like, like a lot of that the foot the night before just to give you that energy as carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is a slow burning energy source. Um, you obviously need your vitamins and minerals. Everyone needs vitamins and minerals. I've started eating a lot more fruit and uh, vegetables, especially at my work. Actually, we uh, whenever I have lunch, I always have quite a big salad. Um, it's just something that gets eat when you start doing it. You're like, oh, this has no taste. But the more you start eating it, the easier it becomes. Simply because you learn what goes with what and what tastes nice on a salad. Um, this video is not a very long video there's not much really I can say about diet it's personal preference really I mean there will be hundreds of kids out there who have a high metabolism who can eat hundreds of bars of chocolate a day probably feel sick but they won't gain any weight just due to them having a high metabolism and some people like, I've got quite a slow metabolism uh, so I have to eat less like sugary foods and fatty types of foods because I'll put on weight much faster than say someone else but again like i said it's personal preference but if you guys have any questions i actually did do a nutrition section of my university course so if you do have any questions specifically on a certain like type of foods so of dairy protein carbohydrates fats send me a message on my facebook uh, my twitter or on here and i will try and give you as much information on that bit that you want but anyway yeah it's been your boy game 137 i hope you enjoyed this video